Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the Lathrixian like after a full month break from the game. Sadly, over the last month, things have been absolutely insane. It's been just less videos to the channel. I've been recording other things and other projects, and this game sadly got mostly ignored. But now we are back, and after the break, I'm actually really happy to be back. This is one of those games I find incredibly relaxing, but also a lot of fun. It's a nice combo of things. So, what are we going to be doing today? Well, today, what I really, really want to do is finally fix up the farm area. Now, originally, I had planned on doing something with all the animals and sorting out a pen for them, perhaps having a new building project over here, a new major housing area, but thankfully, we actually are okay for beds right now. Every single one of our halflings has a bed. As you can see, everyone owns a similar object, so everyone has somewhere to sleep. I know, a great thing for a village to have. There we are. But honestly, the farm really needs some attention. It's been here since the very start, and it looks hideous. So what we're going to do is extend this road out, most likely, add some fences, and just make the whole area look way, way better. Now, one thing to note is I believe... We should really consider, though, having a sort of roof over some of the farm area, but that just seems so weird to me. I prefer to just imagine these plants are completely frost resistant, and the farmers don't mind being outside. Even though, yep, the cold weather does indeed affect them, so the farmers just are not having a great time. When it comes to the animals, we will make sure it's all indoors, we're going to have pens, we're going to have an underground section, but for the farms themselves, it's going to be outside because I think it will just look way, way better. And again, just pretend everything's frost resistant. Now, how much food do we currently have? We have loads of edibles. Okay, so <laughs> what we're going to do is remove all of this, which is going to be really weird, but I guess it's a good time right now because it's all saplings, it's all tiny little growing things. And then extend the road and then have patches of each plant and have them all separated by fences and stuff. Make it look presentable, make it look nice and neat. Now, it isn't going to be efficient because we're not going to be doing this having the farms in strips, which is way more space efficient, just because I don't like how it looks. I prefer it in the normal form, because it looks like there's more space for everything, it looks more correct. So, let's remove all of these. Get our people to clear up all this space, and then we can sort out how we're going to do this. It still needs to be in this area though, because our cook is located right there through that door. All the storage for the food is right there. Now let's figure out just how far we want this to go. So going with the rule over here, it goes all the way to 42. Then we have the 3 for the road, okay? 42. And then 3 for the road itself. Which should bring us in line with this. Although I have kind of capped this section here by building this like this. Because I wanted to go around it and have something quite major there. So that's going to look a little bit weird, that's fine. Extend this along with it as well. Actually, make sure it's the correct width. That would be great. There we are. Okay, so that will be our farm area then. Since we do want it right here, purely because the cook is right there. So, let's figure out how we're going to do this then. First of all, go ahead and build the road. That's fine. Okay, this is going to look really weird until it's fully explained. But bear with me for a second, because I think this is going to look really good and actually work really well. So right now, we have this weird shape, and then in between that, we have all the farms. Because, what I would like to do is in this centre patch here, rather than squishing all the farms together, we can put down things like the berry bushes, all of the manual harvests, and we can have them along the path in the middle. Not only will I think this look really good, and it has space for the fences, but it also means the people working here are going to be happier because all of these plants increase the aesthetic value of the area. So they're all going to be nice and happy-like. Yeah, I think that could work. And then we put down the fences afterwards. Where are the fences? Do I need to make some? I don't even know if I have any in the inventory. Okay, I do have some. So this goes along here. Then there's a two-wide path in the middle. Oh, okay, there's a problem. Might not quite have enough space for these. If we fence off here. Now, of course, what we could do, which would be an easy option, is just shrink down these patches by one. I mean, we are doing the same over here as well. So, yeah, that's fine. Plus, then we can always add more farms later. This is going to be horribly inefficient, but I think it's going to look really, really pretty. 
Whilst everything's being built, let's make sure we have all the different types of fence posts, and as we use them, they get recreated. Lovely. So, I've removed the middle road for now, because I want to see how the farm itself looks without it first. I'm also going to make Meh here into a brand new farmer. Oh, invaders are approaching, but our soldiers are already dealing with it. Oh, nope, they're not, because there's also more over here. Okay, the wolves are being absolutely crushed. Oh, don't let them break down the door! That's expensive! Well, it's mildly expensive! It costs me money! That's all that matters! Yeah, you're doing fine without me. Keep up the good work, and well done, Zeus. They don't really have a healer, and both of these are tanky, so just keep hitting whoever you want to hit, really. Still need fire arrows. I miss fire arrows. The swarm is terrifying when they all work on one thing together. Okay, now the farms are down. Let's have a look see how this looks. Do I want a fence? Here, 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 here. Then the question is, how do I fence off the rest? Am I going to leave this area open as a walkway? Or am I going to fence off between them? Also, Shepard, your chicken is eating our crops. I'm sure it will make it delicious, but, you know, our crops. Glorious fire. Bit light there with that attack, but still. Maybe you just really hated his hat. Yeah, look at you all happy after burning your foe alive. Nah. Who needs physics when you can put down this section of the fence before the pole? Still, though, really liking how this is coming along. Still no idea about these sections. Am I going to add a fence here? A walkway? What am I going to do there? Definitely going to have a walkway here. Going to make it a different texture, though, to the main road. Then fence along here still? I don't know. I've massively overestimated how much space we're going to have to build all this, so... Probably going to use a few less gates than I originally intended. Yeah, these will sort of blend into the gate itself, but I think that's going to be okay. One, two, three, you. One, two, three, you. Yeah, that's going to be really pretty. Maybe I won't fence off these sections here, but instead just fence them like this. Around them all together? Hmm. Well, either way, that fence is definitely going to be there, so... We'll put that down first, and we'll see how cluttered it looks. Now, sadly, I just skipped two pieces of this story, but essentially all that's happened is she's arrived and said, Oh, look, you have new people, and then starts to record everything. She records the tales and casts them into the fire, as she did the last time she arrived. She grows thoughtful. In the end, she nods to herself and produces from her pouch three smooth stones. They each bear a familiar scratched marking. One is the constellation of Fern, the stag, which is associated with bounty in summer, which is a rare thing for us. One is the constellation of Siv, the wolf, who ensures that each hunt contributes to the cycle of the world. The last is the three stars of Knut, the rabbit. It is time, she whispers. When I next return, I will bring the spirits and we will create the monument to ask for their blessing. Okay, so a new event is arriving soon. Also, how did I just pronounce that rabbit's name? That was horrendous. <laughs> 
So with these sections here, we've essentially now started to grow every single type of crop we can. Although I don't want to double up on the saplings, so instead of adding more saplings over here, we're going to just have a sort of wild section. So loads of flowers, pretty much everything growing over here. We're just going to have a patch there as well, which will look nice. Yeah, make it look a bit more complex as well. Okay. At this point, I'm realizing that our village might be a little bit on the insane side. Oh, you're trying to eat our potatoes. Now you are on fire. And you dropped food. Yep, you're on fire and already you have cooked food for us. Basically Minecraft logic. You burn an animal, instantly cooked when it dies. There's no more- okay, there's one more pole, which is already there. Okay, great. So, starting to get this finished. Our poor carpenter's working overtime at the moment, and we are deforesting a huge area just to make sure this works. I'm glad the, the snow's finally vanished. Hello there. <gasps> a rabbit! Hello and welcome! Thank you. Since we've already seen these events before in previous playthroughs. This guy is just on fire, but fighting and fighting, and then finally... Gone. Maybe I shouldn't have all of my archers equipped with fire arrows. They're not actually that fantastic, to be perfectly honest. The slowing arrows are more useful. So at least one or two of you I will be swapping over. Hey, Bruce is wearing the wolf helmet. Fantastic. Yep, these farms are going to make our farmers really, really happy. Hello again. Did you expect the stars to come visit you on Earth? They are spirits, not beasts. They are Valen's allegories, committed to the heavens so we do not forget his teachings. It's time for you to create a monument and ask for the blessing of your patron spirit. Then I will record your settlement as a star in the constellation of the Northern Alliance. And your stories will be safe in the library of our people. Um. Okay. So, the deer, the stag. Building a font of summer will grant your townsfolk a plus one boost to mind, body, and spirit. The rabbit, who's adorable. Ability to create masterwork. And you... Plus two to the body attribute in combat. I mean, really, we're going to go with... Summer. Plus one to mind, body, and spirit. Now, we tried to do this before. Uh, well, the version of the desert-dwelling people. And we couldn't do it because we couldn't find the item. It turns out we were in the wrong biome for it, so... Or something similar to that, anyway. I'm hoping this one's going to be better. The Font of Summer. So, how do we make the Font of Summer, then? That is really easy. So we need two bales of wheat. That's not done by the cook, is it? Oh, yes it is, okay. No. Can we actually farm wheat? We can't, can we, at the moment? Huh, suddenly wheat's actually a bit more annoying to get. Now, I'm fairly certain, though, if we get traders, we can probably eventually buy them. Hmm. Okay, so now we're doing the crystal charging event for the rabbits. Do we have it already, or will we be giving it later? There it is. This will slowly attract enemies, but it'll be charged up during the day, and eventually we'll make the rabbits very, very happy with us.
Now sadly, it turns out berry bushes are a little bit too big to place here because they'll actually clip into the fence and then we can't place the fence. So instead, what we're going to do is have the half bud there. Then, we're going to do this. Now, although berry bushes can block enemies and also block our halflings, I think that's enough space for them to squeeze past. So we still have the berries growing here. They'll still make everyone happy because they are pretty. And it also uses up this space, which I wasn't sure what to do with. That's really nice. I like that. We've just managed to buy some wheat, so soon we are going to indeed have the font of summer built. But first, let's figure out what else I want to do here. I think I'm pretty much done. The only thing I can really think of adding is some light, but I'm not quite sure where. Now, originally, I'd intended to put flowers all along here to make it a bit prettier and to kind of have it so one side is more dominant in terms of the view, so it looks more natural. But maybe light there instead would be better. The question is, what kind of light? Now, the easy option would just be something like this. But then that would look weird, not having it over here. We could even have one here, one here. One here, one here, if the flowers can still grow there. But I'm not sure about that either. It looks a bit too bulky. Look at the smaller versions. Or maybe a garden lamp. That's the wall lantern, so I currently don't have any of the standing ones available. I'll build some of those and see what it's like. The mason is now building the font of summer. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, wow, that would be perfect there, considering these are all the farms. But it's a bit out of the way in terms of us seeing it, but it does really work. Could perhaps build it up here. Eventually place it on something, so this is like in the middle of the farm territory, because eventually I do want to expand the farms further, so rather than having a set there... Okay, for now, we'll just place it here. Then later on, we'll make a bit more of a shrine to it. And there it is. So is that now having its effect, or...? Complete. Party Goblin. Lovely. Oh, look, a stag. I guess you're the spirit of the stag. Note self, have a look at the weavers and the new stuff we can make. The mason window box, and then mind, body, and spirit all plus one. A creature emerges from the shadows. It looks like a particularly fine stack. But its horns shine like crystal in the moonlight. Oh, okay, so I misread this. Ronia approaches the stag with a low bow. I thought it said bow. I thought we were about to kill the stag. <laughs> it was all an elaborate trap. <laughs> Her hair scrapes the ground, the gestures towards the hearth, the music seems to entice it closer. The stag turns, a light flashes through each person standing nearby. Everyone seems energized, stronger, wiser, braver. Then the creature turns its head from the fire and seems to melt into the air, becoming one with the festivities as the town has become one with the Alliance. That was well done, she whispers. Your township is officially entered into the library, and the spirits grace your steps. What learnings will you pursue next? The other monuments would look good beside this one, though they will not have the same power. Oh yeah, you can still build the other monuments, they just don't give you their bonuses, you can only have one active. Well, thank you, and glory to the stag, apparently.
Well, that made everyone happy. There we are, now with some of the guard lanterns. Ooh, including this one here, which will make everyone happier. The crystal is charged! You're welcome, rabbits. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, we're gonna build these. Once again, they'll make everyone happier in the area, and it'll look a bit better during the night time as well. Uh, do we want them over here as well, or...? No, let's just put them there for now. We could always add some more in the middle later if we so desire, but I think... Probably best just to leave it, but saying that... One there, one there, one there, one there... Yeah, okay, that's, let's go with that, so once the others are made. It is kind of getting in the way of the flowers, but we could always move the flowers one to the side if it looks really bad. Well, yeah, those are really pretty. Okay, those are all going to go over here, I think. At least some of them will. Now, these are way bigger than I expected, though, so I can't really place them with what we've already put down. So, for now... Let's just pop them here. I assume I can pick them up afterwards. Why do I think that assumption might be wrong? Okay, I'll figure out where to put these in the next video. Ah, and that goes on the wall. Cool. Well, that one can go there anyway. The one bad thing of this being here is it is a very pretty item, so it's a shame people aren't going to be walking past it that much. Here we are, the lights are on. And yep, that looks really nice. The one time I don't have health potions around. Oh yeah, do I even have an herbalist at the moment? I think I do. But saying that if I did, they would be making stuff, so I don't actually think I do. Um, no, I don't. So who wants to be the new herbalist and eventually a new healer? Oh, obviously you. Seven of spirit, that'll make you a fantastic healer. Wow. Night statues. Lampposts, waterfalls, a statue with a rabbit. And most of this we can't make ourselves, and of course this is because now we have the upgraded shops. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of those. And we have lots of stuff to sell, thankfully. I mean, that's pretty cool. Almost finished off fencing up the new area. Once I'm done with that, I would say that this has been a very successful video. Okay, the sound has just glitched out, so now there is no sound. And somehow, we've placed a fence on top of a fence, which you can't actually do. That's amazing, because I've always wanted that to be possible, yet somehow the game just did it out of nowhere. That is truly, truly bizarre. And I'm going to leave it, forever. The sound is still glitched out, because I'm about to finish the video anyway, I can't see the point of restarting the game and everything else, but look at this. The stag banners. Well, obviously we're going to want those considering what we've just built, and worker finery. Okay, let's uh, sell some stuff and grab some nice stuff for our people. Well, as the sound continues to be broken, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. I've just grabbed all those banners and everything else, and I think this area, although it looks more like gardens now than an actual farm, I'm happy with it. I really am. I think it fits the theme of the village quite well. I think it fits this area quite well, so now it looks more full and more busy. And ultimately, I think today we've done a good job. In the next video, we're going to finally sort out something for the chickens, and I do need to start building some more housing, because I've been turning down new villagers every single day now for like the last week, because we have no more beds. So we need some more housing over here, perhaps something a bit more grand, and then the chickens are either going to go here or in a new area over here. Not too sure. 
And wherever they go, the font of summer will go with them. So with that, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stone Hearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And yes, there are still plenty of people to name, so feel free to tell me in the comments below. I do have a small list already, but there are lots of people still to name. Your name is Scarf. I may keep this fellow as he currently is. Anyway, thank you for watching, and goodbye.